When you're talking to someone, make sure your hands are not folded. So if you want to show interest in someone, lean forward. So listening to anyone, do not touch your face. So if you're doing that out of habit, stop the habit. If people are working from home and you're having a discussion, surely we'll get them to switch the video. When you're talking to someone, make sure your hands are not folded. Can we agree not to do that? If you're talking to Jayanath, and I'm like this. Uh, Jayanath is not going to feel close to me. If I want him to open up, he'll be Jayanath. So now tell me. So if you want to show interest in someone, lean forward. If you want to distance yourself, if you want to show arrogance, you think? <laughs> Open hands, open hands, open hands. Yeah, try not to point. What do you do? We do this. So you want to ask Chalita, what happened? Chalita. Open hand. Look at the person. Don't stare at the person, but make that eye contact. Few seconds, look away. Few seconds, look away. Another quick rule of thumb for you. While you are talking to your team member, or actually talking to anyone, or you are listening to anyone, do not touch your face or fiddle around with anything. Let's say Shanal is talking to me. Shanal, mm, that sounds interesting. Mm. 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 The impression Shanal will get is, Sanjeev doesn't believe what I'm saying. There's something wrong here. If while I'm talking, I'm, yeah, Shanal, I can give you that promotion. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> promotion, then now, then now, then now. The impression you get is, Sanjeev is lying. There is something wrong here. And this is all going down to so many thousand years of evolution, right? If you ask a child, who broke that glass? Me, 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 me. <laughs> they cover the mouth to stop the lie coming out. <laughs> As small children would do this. As we get older, we don't do that, but it becomes a little more sophisticated. Right? Have you noticed people doing this? So sometimes I go to meet a client, I'm talking to HR or something, I'm talking about uh, leadership or speed, you know, whatever, and they're there, Sanjeev, I don't think you can do it. But they don't say me, tell me that, they say, that's very interesting. <laughs> 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 Immediately I know, they are not convinced, I need to do something to get the hand away. As soon as the hand is away, I know, ah, breakthrough. So, if I'm doing that while talking, doing that, doing that, doing that, those are all deceit signals. People may not know why, but they will not believe you, they will not trust you. So if you are doing that out of habit, stop the habit. Akila, <laughs> very interesting. If people are working from home and you are having a discussion, surely we will get them to switch the video on. Ask my team. Every single meeting, their video is on. If you want to work from home, get the video on. See, people have 150 reasons why they can't switch the video on, right? I'm not prepared, you know, I didn't get my lipstick on, all that. Be prepared. No excuses. And by the way, I did this right through COVID. Every single meeting I had, videos on. I know even now sometimes we get, we get on meetings with our clients, and our videos on, they can see us, we can't see the client. <laughs> now, I can't insist client put a video on, right? But I try to put it nicely. I don't see, you know, I love to see your face. You think can switch the video on? But, you know, prepare. People in your team, Make it a must. Come on, if they don't have, whatever, they can use their phone, right? There's no reason why the video can't be on.